was like on the movie Twister. There's horses and stuff flying everywhere. You know, it's there. It, uh, it's indescribable. I just heard some lady down the street. She was screaming about the elementary school, so I headed that way. Got there, and there was. It's pretty much gone. Mass destruction in Oklahoma after an EF4 tornado packing 200 mile per hour winds hits a rural town in Oklahoma. Yeah, this happened overnight, obviously, and search and rescue teams sifted through the rubble and debris of those damaged homes, schools, and hospitals, trying to find anyone who may be trapped alive. And overnight, the coroner has warned that death toll will likely rise as soon as the sun comes up. It's really tough to see when you see a tornado that huge and you think about the children that were in school at the time. A good morning to you. It is now 5 a.m. here. I'm Angela Ann. And I'm Jeff Hogan. And we know at least 51 people are dead right now, including 20 children after that massive twister hit just south of Oklahoma City. And I think something that's important to note is it happened during the daytime right. yesterday when kids were in those schools. Yeah, there were two schools and a hospital all among the hundreds of buildings that were damaged, some of them also destroyed. And so this, of course, is a story that is getting national attention. We have a 10 TV news crew that is on the way to Oklahoma City this morning to bring us the very latest as people start to wake up and try to recover yeah. from this. Still tough to get in with that line of storms that's mm -hmm. going on there, but CBS correspondent Big Ed Shaban is live right now in Moore, Oklahoma with more. We're here at a staging area set up by the American Red Cross and they estimate they've seen some 600 first responders come through since yesterday evening for food and for rest in between shifts. But it's unclear just how long this recovery and cleanup effort will last after that disastrous tornado that stretched at least half a mile wide. Flashlights scan back and forth across the rubble as rescuers work through the night looking for survivors of Monday's massive tornado in Moore, Oklahoma. Isabella Rojas says she was trapped in her classroom. I really got stuck because all the desks were on top of us and the teacher got stuck. Searchers focus much of their attention on Plaza Towers Elementary School, which took a direct hit. Our hearts are, are just broken for the parents that are wondering uh, the, the state of their children that have been in the schools that have been hit today. Some children were rescued, but dozens are feared trapped in the rubble. We are very hopeful that we're going to be able to find those individuals tonight and that we're going to get them the, the medical treatment that they need. Officials designated this church as a meeting area for parents of missing children to come and wait for any news about their kids. For some, it's been a long and anxious night. This has turned into a massive tornado, as you can see in these live pictures. The twister started just south of Oklahoma City and quickly gained strength. By the time it hit more, it was a mile wide and packed winds of up to 200 miles per hour. The damage stretched for seven miles. Moore is no stranger to destructive storms. The town was devastated in 1999 when a tornado with the highest winds ever recorded made a direct hit on the community. And more than 200 people have been injured, including 50 children, and at least two dozen other kids are still believed to be missing in the rubble. Reporting live in Moore, Oklahoma, I'm Begad Chaban. Now back to you. Mm. Amazing to see the yeah. two pictures side by side from what happened in 1999 and now. So similar. Well, President Barack Obama has now declared five Oklahoma counties a federal disaster area, and this means people in those counties will now be able to use federal money to try to rebuild their lives.